Well, you can feel the pride around Northeast Ohio tonight, can't you? Ohioans coming together, celebrating the 4th of July again. Even some folks from D.C. joined in on the fun here in Cleveland, embracing how far we've come. Marissa Sines reports. To go through 15, 16 months, almost two years of not coming together has been difficult. We all remember last 4th of July. Quiet, uncelebrated, socially distanced. This year feels all new again. We've come a long way. We was prevented from having this fun last year, so now I'm taking advantage of it. Just like a month ago, everybody had masks on. And how much has changed in just the last month, it's really refreshing. In Akron and all around Northeast Ohio, bells are ringing. Freedom as Ohioans gather in crowds again. This is a time for celebration, not just for the 4th of July, but to celebrate America and our coming back together. U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and former representative for the 11th Congressional District, Marsha Fudge, speaking loud and proud about how far Ohio has come. This is the first opportunity for us to come together and really understand what we've been through. Fudge is still vocal about what Ohioans should continue striving for. But I will admit, Ohio is lagging behind a lot of other states. We're about 36, so every single person that gets a shot makes it better for us. Echoing her excitement, Akron City Mayor. To be able to invite people back down here to be able to enjoy themselves, great message to the community saying, listen, look at all these events that we're having. It's time to, I think it's time to enjoy. And Ohioans alike. I'm excited to be here, and I will be here every concert every festival for the rest of the summer. Uh, happy 4th of July. You know, this really is like America's birthday weekend. These guys are going to be lighting up like this both tonight and tomorrow. You can find information on when and where on our website, WKYC.com. Reporting in Bay Village, Marissa Signs, 3 News.